Your engine could fail years before it should, and it's probably all your fault. Every day, millions of drivers make simple mistakes that silently destroy their engines. The worst part is most have no idea they're doing it. From bad shifting habits to low RPM driving, these common mistakes cause overheating, wear down key components, and lead to expensive repairs. But it's not too late to fix them. Watch till the end to make sure you're not ruining your car without realizing it. Number 1. Constant Low RPM Driving A lot of drivers think keeping the engine at low RPM saves fuel. It sounds logical. Less power means less fuel burned, right? But modern engines don't work that way. Many European cars use advanced systems like direct fuel injection and turbochargers. These need a good range of RPMs to function properly. Staying under 1500 RPM for too long can do more harm than good. One big issue is oil circulation. The oil pump needs a certain speed to push oil through the engine. At low Low RPMs, it struggles to lubricate key parts like the crankshaft and camshaft. Less lubrication means more friction. More friction means faster wear. Another problem is the cylinder walls. Low RPMs can make them too smooth, which stops them from holding oil properly. This increases wear on piston rings and reduces efficiency. Then there's carbon buildup. Direct injection engines are especially prone to this. Running too low for long lets carbon deposits form on intake valves. This reduces fuel efficiency and can even lead to engine knocking. If the car has a turbocharger, it gets worse. Low speed pre-ignition, LSPI, can cause serious internal damage. And that's not all. Cooling also takes a hit. At low RPMs, the water pump and radiator fan don't work as well. Over time, this can lead to overheating and head gasket failure. If this keeps up, the damage adds up fast. Poor lubrication wears down moving parts. Carbon buildup clogs filters and reduces performance. Weak cooling increases thermal stress on metal components. To avoid these problems, it's best to use a wider range of RPMs. Driving in a high gear at low speed forces the engine to work harder, so it's better to downshift when needed. Occasionally revving the engine and helps burn off carbon deposits. This trick, sometimes called an Italian tune-up, can make a big difference. Turbocharged engines need extra care. Flooring the gas at low RPMs increases LSPI risks, so gradual acceleration is best. Number 2. Excessive Idling Leaving the engine running while parked might not seem like a big deal. Maybe you're waiting for someone or warming up the car on a cold morning. But excessive idling does more harm than most people realize. It wastes fuel, wears out the engine, and increases pollution. Modern European cars are especially sensitive to these effects. One of the biggest problems is oil degradation. At idle, the engine runs cooler than it should. This leads to incomplete combustion, which creates soot. That soot contaminates the oil, making it less effective at lubrication. Over time, this increases increases engine wear. Carbon deposits are another issue. Unburned fuel leaves behind residue that clogs spark plugs and intake valves. Diesel engines are even more vulnerable. Their particulate filters, DPFs, can get blocked, leading to expensive repairs. Idling also strains other parts of the car. The cooling system works harder since there's no airflow to help regulate temperature. The alternator produces less power at idle, which means the battery recharges more slowly. If a car idles too often, this can lead to electrical problems. The best way to avoid these problems is to turn off the engine if you'll be stopped for more than a minute. This is especially important in places like school zones or train crossings. Using remote start systems sparingly also helps. If possible, planning routes to avoid heavy traffic can cut down on unnecessary idling too. Number 3. Excessive Engine Braking Imagine you're driving down a hill, instead of using the brake pedal, you let off the accelerator or downshift to slow down. This is called engine braking. It can help in certain situations like keeping your brakes from overheating on long descents, but doing it too often can cause serious damage to your car. Every time you engine brake aggressively, the force that should be handled by your brake pads get pushed onto your transmission and engine mounts. These parts aren't designed for that kind of stress. In a manual car, the synchronizers struggle to match gear speeds, wearing out fast Faster. Over time, shifting gears becomes rough and unresponsive. In an automatic, the transmission faces similar strain, which can lead to misalignment or long-term damage. Even engine mounts, which keep your engine stable and absorb vibrations, can wear down faster because of the repeated jolts. There's also an environmental downside. Studies in Europe found that 20-30% to 30 of the tiny particles released from cars when slowing down come from engine braking. These nanoparticles often contain metals like zinc and phosphorus, which contribute to air pollution. If you rely too much on engine braking, problems start stacking. 
stacking up. Worn synchronizers make shifting difficult. Damaged transmission mounts lead to constant vibrations, making your car less stable and comfortable. Worst case, your transmission fails entirely, and fixing that can cost anywhere from 1500 euro to 4000 euro. On top of that, the extra emissions from engine braking add to pollution. Your engine isn't the only thing at risk. Your transmission could be in trouble too. Many drivers make simple mistakes in automatic cars that lead to costly repairs and breakdowns. If you want to keep your car running smoothly and avoid expensive damage. Don't miss the next video. 15 things you should never do in an automatic car. Number 4. Running low on fuel. We've all done it. The fuel light comes on, but instead of stopping at the nearest gas station, you keep driving. Maybe you're in a hurry or trying to stretch your budget. It seems harmless, but running your car on low fuel too often can lead to expensive problems. The fuel pump is one of the first things to suffer. It needs fuel to stay cool. When the tank is nearly empty, the pump gets exposed to air, causing it to overheat. Over time, this can lead to pump failure. Then there's the issue of dirt and debris. Over the years, tiny particles settle at the bottom of your fuel tank. When the fuel level is low, these sediments can get sucked into the fuel system, clogging the filter and injectors. This reduces performance, increases emissions, and can even cause your engine to misfire. The damage adds up. A failed fuel pump costs between 100 euro and 300 euro to replace, not including labor. Clogged fuel injectors make your engine run inefficiently, leading to costly repairs. If misfires become frequent, they can even damage the catalytic converter, one of the most expensive parts of your exhaust system. In Europe, diesel drivers fail face an even bigger risk. Running low on diesel can introduce air into the system, which creates air locks. These can seriously damage high-pressure diesel pumps, leading to major repair costs. Avoiding these problems is simple. Try to keep your fuel tank at least one quarter full. Make sure your fuel filter is cleaned or replaced regularly, and don't trust your car's distance to empty. Reading too much, those estimates can be off. Keeping your tank from running dry will help your car last longer and save you from expensive repair. Number 5. Switching from reverse to drive while moving It might seem harmless to shift from reverse to drive while the car is still rolling, but this habit can cause serious damage to your transmission. Many drivers do it without thinking, especially when backing out of a parking spot or making quick maneuvers. In modern cars, electronic systems often step in to prevent major harm, but if you drive an older model, the damage can be severe. When you shift Shift gears without stopping, the transmission is forced to slow down and change direction at the same time. It's like trying to sprint forward while someone yanks you backward. The internal components, like the clutch packs and transmission bands, take the impact. These parts are designed for smoother gear changes, not for stopping the car's momentum. Over time, this kind of stress wears them down, leading to rough shifting, grinding gears, or even total transmission failure. If that happens, repairs aren't cheap. In Europe, transmission replacement can cost anywhere from 2,000 euro to 5,000 euro. The real problem happens when the reverse gear disengages, and the forward gear engages while still spinning in the opposite direction. This sudden shift can cause the gears to jam or even snap. At higher speeds, anything over 5 km per hour, it can do even worse damage, potentially affecting parts like the crankshaft and connecting rods. Some drivers have even stalled their engines this way. The good news is this problem is easy to avoid. Always come to a full stop before switching between reverse and drive. Use your brakes to slow down instead of relying on your transmission. If you drive an older car without electronic safeguards, be extra careful. A simple habit like stopping completely before shifting can save you thousands in repairs and keep your car running smoothly for years. Number 6. Ignoring Air Filter Maintenance Your car's air filter might not seem like a big deal, but it plays a huge role in keeping the engine running properly. It keeps dirt, dust, and debris from getting inside the combustion chamber. When the filter gets clogged, airflow is restricted, which throws off the balance of fuel and oxygen. This can hurt performance waste fuel, and even increase emissions. A dirty air filter makes the engine work harder. Less oxygen means the fuel doesn't burn efficiently, which leads to more fuel consumption. At the same time, incomplete combustion causes carbon buildup on engine parts like pistons and valves. Over time, this can lead to expensive repairs. In Europe, where strict emissions regulations are in place, a neglected air filter can even make your car non-compliant with environmental laws. Ignoring air filter maintenance can also reduce power. If you notice sluggish acceleration, trouble starting the engine, or black smoke from the exhaust, your air filter could be the problem. Replacing it is cheap, usually between 20 euro and 50 euro, but skipping it for too long can lead to engine damage that costs thousands to fix. To avoid these problems, check your air filter regularly and replace it every 12,000 to 1,500 kilometers, or as recommended in your car's manual. It's a simple step that can improve fuel efficiency, 
reduce wear on your engine and help your car meet emission standards. Number seven, high gear acceleration. High gear acceleration happens when a driver pushes the gas pedal hard while the car is in a gear that's too high for the situation. This is common in modern vehicles with eight or nine speed transmissions. Drivers often stay in higher gears to save fuel but forget to downshift when more power is needed. That's where the trouble starts. Modern cars, especially those with eight or nine speed transmissions, are designed to stay in higher gears for better fuel efficiency. That works fine when you're driving at a steady speed, but when you need more power, like when you're overtaking or climbing a hill, the engine needs to rev higher. If you stay in a high gear and push the accelerator, the engine struggles to generate enough torque. Instead of working efficiently, it starts fighting itself. One of the biggest problems this causes is extra strain on the engine's moving parts. The pistons and connecting rods take uneven pressure, which speeds up wear and tear. Over time, this stress can lead to serious damage, even a complete engine failure. Then there's engine knock, where the fuel inside the cylinders ignites unevenly. These tiny explosions may not seem like a big deal at first, but they chip away at the engine's internal parts. Heat is another issue. Lugging the engine at low RPMs generates more heat than normal. The cooling system has to work harder, and engine oils breaks down faster. This means less protection for the moving parts, making wear and tear even worse. And if you think staying in high gear saves fuel, the opposite happens. The engine burns more fuel trying to compensate for the lack of power, making it less efficient overall. Over time, this kind of driving takes a serious toll. Rod bearings, which support the crankshaft, wear out much faster. If they fail completely, the repair bill is massive, often requiring a full engine rebuild. And even if the engine doesn't break down, performance suffers. The car feels sluggish, unresponsive, and less fun to drive. The solution is simple, downshift when you need more power. If you're merging onto a highway or climbing a hill, let the engine rev higher instead of forcing it to struggle. Most modern European cars have gear shift indicators, GSIs, that tell you when to shift for better performance and efficiency. Keeping an eye on your RPMs also helps for petrol engines. Staying between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs is ideal. For diesel engines, it's best to stay between 1,500 and 3,500 RPMs.